is Jovanka from the 4-Week Detox Program. So I've mentioned the benefits of a good night's sleep in previous posts. You know, it helps you feel great, look great, and it helps maintain that healthy weight. But I've been reading more about this and I feel like this is such an important topic that it deserves a special post. So here we are. We all have a biological clock that regulates things like hormone levels, blood sugar, body temperature, metabolism, immunity, and other stuff. So maintaining that bio clock working well is vital to a healthy you. It is a negative, never-ending loop that happens when you don't get adequate sleep. You'll feel crappy and lazy during the day, and then you won't have any energy. So to help combat that energy funk, you will reach for sugary snacks and drinks, even though it is more sleep that, that what you need, not more food. And the foods that you tend to go for may give you a quick burst of energy, but because they're harder to digest, your body uses a lot of its energy in that process, making you feel even more tired. And on top of it, that lack of sleep impedes the growth hormone that promotes lean muscle and fat burning, adding to fat storage and eventually an even bigger flabby belly. So you see the never ending loop? So how much sleep do you actually need? Well, I'm sure you've heard what the, the establishment says that you need roughly between six and eight hours of sleep every night. However, if you eat a lot of raw, whole foods, you should require less sleep since you have so much more energy freed up from the process of digestion. Now, all of us have trouble falling asleep from time to time, and for some others, it can become a chronic issue. So it's important to be conscious of the root causes of your sleep problems, and you can work to correct them rather than to put a band-aid on the issue in the form of some over-the-counter remedy and other stuff like that. So here are some easy to do natural tips to help you sleep and have a better quality of sleep. Try to get consistent patterns of going to bed and waking up around the same time every night. Take a hot shower before bed. I take one every night and I find it very, very helpful. It helps me distress and lower my body temperature, which will help me fall asleep. Eat dinner three to four hours before bedtime and avoid eating any kind of processed salty foods and meals that are too large in animal protein as they tend to be stimulating. Avoid drinking any caffeine, including green tea, in the evenings. Take a magnesium supplement before bed. Magnesium helps calm nerves and it relaxes the muscles, which can in turn help you fall asleep. Try to avoid taking naps after 4 o'clock. Make sure your bedroom is cool. A warmer temperature creates a harder sleep environment. Take a few minutes before bed to clear your mind and consciously allow the thoughts and worries of the day exit your mind. Then take a moment to thank the universe for the lessons of the day and calmly and positively expect great things for the day ahead. Then take up to 10 deep breaths and then let it all go. And don't watch TV in your bedroom or right before falling asleep. It is too distracting and it's too full of stimulating and often violent imagery. You don't want that to be the last memory of your day. Let me know about your sleep patterns. Are you using any of these techniques and how many of them are actually helping you? Leave a comment below and share this video with all of your friends all over the internet. And for more great tips on how to live a healthy, happy and beautiful life, sign up for my weekly newsletter at JovancaCRS.com. See you soon.